ხე ახორციელებს ევროპული სკოლის საზაფხულო საერთაშორისო ბანაკს, რომელშიც 13 ქვეყნიდან არის მონაწილეები ჩართული და მიეცათ შესაძლებლობა არაფორმალურ გარემოში, ახალგაზრდული პოლიტიკის ფარგლებში ესაუბრათ და ასევე საინტერესო გაეტარებინათ რო როგორც კულტურული, ასევე სპორტული აქტივობით. The Easter Partnership Summer Camp is a great opportunity for the participants. We have 100 participants from 11 countries who participate to the camp to be together for three weeks where they will discuss, share experience, learn skills and learn also about the values of each country so the European Union. Eurokaushiri, Borsa da Akhagas, the Bizero Mut Center Tanirta, to commemorate Eli Akhazilev's Ama Sasapongo Banak, Star Rogers Mongar Sanebat, Eska Cloud, Ahmosaud Party in Europe, Savro Police Colis, Sapilot and Projecti, Romis Parglepsis, Dahobit Asi Munazile, Ahmosaud Party in Europe, Squadron, Isavero Courts, Eurokaushis, Eurok Nabidan, Yeps Munazilo, Basam Banakshi, Esbanaki, Moitsaus Rogor, Sagan Manetle, Wasawe, Kasartobo, Honisi Ebebs, the main aim of this camp is to create a co-shared space for uh, international pupils, international youth participants, uh, to collaborate on the joint projects to um, uh, write these projects to bring them to their countries uh, abroad and of course to share the information and the knowledge they're getting here so the main aim to say is to become a peer educators this young generation is really talented and really powerful to say their voice and as we see on the last day of the camp we can say that they created a joint family not only the camp and the groups but they are already uh, the very strong European family members. Trainings are based on eight learning models. These training models were designed before camp and it's adopted for this age. So most of uh, most of uh, trainings, uh, young people have possibility to, to learn more about uh, youth policy, youth participation, public speaking, project project writing, European values, and etc. This program uh, is uh, contains also uh, some sport activities uh, such as football, volleyball, basketball, and etc. Also during the evenings, young people have possibility to show their own culture uh, with the national e e events, and they can show and express all these feelings they want to share with other European young people. You know, first of all, when I came here, a lot of people thought I'm Georgian, and that was really funny. They would even confuse me. And you know what? I liked it because Georgian people are amazing. When I came here, first of all, I didn't know a lot about Georgia and even Georgians people, but after the sessions, after the fabulous cultural evening, after meeting so many friends, I fell in love in everything. And I will definitely come back here because you Georgians and the country itself have something so special and unique. And I'm sure that all my Georgian friends will host me and will be with me while I'll be here because this is how you Georgians are, hospitable and really friendly. I am really proud that I can call Georgians my friends. Italian Beori are a truly privileged man. Go with Sani, Europe's Dagmusolt partner, Europe's third most important man. Sakhshu Brunde be South Rad Didi Emotsi Evita, Didi Kamotsi Le Betasawa, Didi Matloba. All of us are really much concerned about this country. The only thing that we are concerned about is that Italian Beori is a country which is very popular. We are going to talk about the country and the situation of Didi. For me, this camp was an amazing opportunity to learn, share and receive experience, inspire and get inspired, so I tried to do everything to get the best out of it. Also, since I'm a future European school student, this camp was some kind of preparatory phase for my future stay in Georgia. Um, we also had some very interesting English classes that were very beneficial uh, because they gave us some academic skills that we'll use later on. We got acquainted to each other's culture every day and we learned about important EU values. I already made very bright memories here and I'm going to miss my camp life so much. I want 
to tell you about excursions and uh, outdoor activities in Europe and summer school camp in Georgia. We were visited Tbilisi and Signari, the city of love. In Tbilisi we were in museum and I was so overwhelmed about our trips. Learned, learning history till cryness. We so amazing and about discovering Techno Park. Still they wish to stay there. In Signari we were hiking uh, to the castle and I just one wish to stay there and mo don't move by this hot weather. The architecture is so beautiful, so I hate all tourists, all cars and all noise. But in the evening we were in the ancient monastery, such a cozy place between the mountains. But trips are more about people, about songs and talks and many hugs in buses. Outdoors activities are also about the uh, spirit of a team, so that is, I'm so excited. <laughs> Boring and useless? No, that's definitely not about cultural evenings. During this camp in Georgia we have the opportunity to get to know and explore different cultures coming from 11 different European countries. Here I realized that every country is very unique and has something very special to show to everyone. Every participant has their own presentation and those presentations are really important for every one of us and we try to put as much effort as possible to make our evenings one of the best ones. During uh, cultural events we learn how to dance different national dances and how to sing songs in other languages. We learned a lot of new information about other countries and we are even planning to visit each other in a few months and with the places we have seen in our presentations. For me, every cultural event is filled with very friendly atmosphere as participants are trying to help each other to learn songs in other languages and dances. Without doubt, those cultural events are one of the best and the greatest things during my day in this camp. So the first time I arrived in my uh, first training, uh, I heard many complaints like we don't have enough free time and I was like what's so special about this free time and then I learned that there are many different activities such as swimming, basketball, volleyball, billiard, tennis, ping pong and so more and it's a great opportunity to make new friends and to meet new people and I think favorite part of this uh, free time uh, to get more sleep and more rest. In the European school summer camp I've developed a lot of skills. Most of them relate to peer education and project writing. Before I came here I was insecure how to start a project and what are the steps that transform a great idea into a perfect project with clear goal. Now I know but most of my friends are insecure in their public speaking skills and they don't know how to defend themselves in the world of the adults. Unfortunately they have no idea how big influence they could have on major problems in their community or maybe on the world stage. So was I before I came to the camp. Here in the European School Summer Camp, with the irreplaceable help with our trainers, coach and leader, we gained a lot of skills and none of them are, is learned in the school, it's not gained in the street and it's not inborn. It is how to create a project, how to write a speech and not on the last place, how to defend yourself anywhere, how to manage your time. All these skills you need every day in order to defeat yourself in order to achieve your goals and do you think that you're too young to change a thing because I thought so before I came to the camp unfortunately most of you think so but it's the answer is no do you think that only because you're 14 you can create a speech only because you're young you can create an amazing project and do you think that your age is a boundary for you to fully participate in the world of the adults for me the answer is no I prefer switching to sports activities during my free time. That's why it was really pleasant to find out that we were going to have a rise sports activities almost every day. During these two weeks, we had uh, football, volleyball, basketball and even tennis competitions. By the way, almost every member of the camp enjoys uh, spending their free time in the swimming pool. We also had a competition in swimming, which I won. I'm really proud of my yellow team uh, to be the winners of the volleyball competition. In the final game, we had to compete with the staff members and we won. 
Uh, during the camp we had a lot of training sessions on which we discussed a lot of different topics. For example, uh, we had the most important and the final part of the camp uh, which is uh, project writing. And right now we're having a final presentation of our projects. Uh, throughout the uh, training sessions we had a lot of activities uh, and throughout the uh, sessions and modules not only we learned and discussed different topics but we also learned teamwork and uh, during the training sessions during the activities I made a lot of amazing friends uh, overall I liked uh, every training session because every one of them was uh, interesting and, and unique in its own way I'm very grateful for this amazing opportunity